Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to look at adding related fractions. Now what is related fractions? Related fractions basically means that the denominators are not the same. Okay, This is different from like fractions. So like fractions are when the denominators are the same. Related fractions are when the denominators are not the same. So please take note. Now before we move on to looking at adding related fractions, I want to recap a little bit about adding like fractions. So now let's take a look at adding like fractions. So say for example, I have, I have this question here. So I have two quarters plus, this is one quarter. So what will that give me? So you can see very clearly that if I have two out of four and I have one out of four, when I add them together, I can actually shift them over, shift this over here. So this becomes three quarters. So essentially what you do is that the, the denominators will remain the same because the whole is always in terms of quarters. But my numerator, I add them up. So 2 plus 1 will give me 3. So this is how we add like fractions. So let's take a look at related fractions. So I have this fraction, 1 quarter plus half. Now I can't really add them together because my denominators are not the same. But if I were to shift my half and join it up, because adding is about joining, what do you notice? Yeah, you actually notice that the ans that this becomes, in a sense, three quarters. Now how does this happen? So let me shift this back again and let's see how we work it out. Now because my denominators are not the same, I need to make them the same. Then I can add them because now my, my parts are not equal. So let me try to make them equal parts. So if I have half, you have two equal parts, can I make this into four equal parts? Uh, yes, I, I can actually. It will look something like this. So now, instead of half, I have two out of four, two quarters. And when I shift them over, what do you notice? Voila, I have three quarters. So let's see how do we work it out. So what I'm doing is I'm actually changing this fraction into an equivalent fraction where I multiply numerator and denominator by the same number, which is 2. Why do I multiply by 2? Because I want to make this 4. So then this becomes 1 quarter, it stays the same, plus, now this then becomes 2 quarters. And when I add them up, my denominator stays the same. Numerator I add, 1 plus 2. And that gives me 3, and that matches my 3 quarters I have here. So this is the concept of adding related fraction. Let's recap. Step 1, change to the same denominator. And then step 2, you add the numerators. The denominator will stay the same. Now let's look at an example. So let's say I have half plus 3 quarters. Quite similar to the one I had just now. So let's see how to do this. Now if you want to, you can pause the video, you try and work it out on your own first before I move on. Ready? Okay, so first step one, change to the same denominator. So this is 2, this is 4. What is something common? Yes, 2 can become 4 by multiplying this by 2, multiplying this by 2. Remember, equivalent fractions. Multiply numerator and denominator by the same number, and that will give me 2 quarters plus 3 quarters. And when I add them up, so denominator stays the same, add the numerator, 2 plus 3 gives me 5. And some of you will say, whoa, wait a minute, this is an improper fraction. Is this correct? Well, let's take a look. So let's say I have this, half plus 3 quarter. I change this to 2 out of 4, so this is 2 out of 4. And I get, yes, I have 5 quarters. Or, you can, say, you can convert this to a mix. And this is 1, so this whole thing here is my 1 whole, and this here is my 1 quarter. So half plus 3 quarters will give me 1 and 1 quarter. It makes a lot of sense. Now let's try example 2. Again, if you want to pause, work it out on your own first so that you are able to check whether you are correct. Okay. So now Cindy has half meter of ribbon. So again, what is the whole? So my whole is my ribbon. And Cindy has, not, sorry, not half, but one-third meter. So Cindy 
has one third meter of the ribbon, 30 has one sixth meter of ribbon. So the same hole, the same ribbon, she has one sixth meter of it. So, but I have thirds here, so I need to further divide this into six. So 30 has one sixth, sixth of it. So what's the length of ribbon they have all together? So what is this length here? Well, based on the diagram, you can see it's actually 3 out of 6. But let's work it out. So 1 third plus 1 six. Change 3 to 6 by multiplying 2. Multiply 2 at the numerator. This becomes 2 over 6. And I add through my 1 six. And this will give me 3 out of 6. Add my numerator, denominator stays the same. Do I stop here? No, I don't because I can simplify. So this I can divide by 3, this I can divide by 3, and that gives me half. Look at your diagram. This part here is actually half of half meter of ribbon. Okay, so my final answer is half meter of a ribbon. They have all together. So let's review. Step 1, we change both the fractions to the same denominator. Step 2, we add the numerators to the fraction. The denominator stays the same because the whole remains the same. If I have 4 equal parts, I should have 4 equal parts after that. So now it's your turn to try. Look at this question. James spent one-fifth of his salary. So the whole is the salary on food and one-fifth of it, same salary. To toy on toys. So what fraction of his salary? Remember, so the whole is always the same, his salary. So what fraction of this whole did he spend on both food and toys altogether? Take out your video worksheet, solve it, and let's come back to class to discuss. Take care.